So while I was going to have a guest on this vlog, and it was going to be Grandma Beaver, she is under the weather, so she's kind of avoiding the camera like the Black Plague, so I, I'm going to obey her wishes and not have her on camera, which sucks! <laughs> I have no fancy little intro today because I don't have the intro with me. Yay, parents' computer. So I'm just going to go right into it. I'm just going to go right into... Uh, the X Factor, X Cycle, X what everyone's been calling this week's topic. So the first question comes from a guy, Baby Beave, which I love. I love that we have like everyone watching us. I do. I love that. So Guy Baby Beave is in a situation where he's dating this guy and this guy has a couple of exes, a couple more exes than he does and he has a lot of mementos and a lot of photos of these exes. So it makes him feel a little crappy and it makes him feel a little jealous maybe, maybe a little jealous that he has all these photos and mementos around and just overall not so fun, right? Not so fun and kind of wanted to know if we ever felt that way. And yeah, yeah, I, I think, I think when you're dealing with your current girlfriend, boyfriend's exes, you're a little intimidated by it, right? Like, you weren't there when they were in the relationship. You don't know how they were. You don't know how they acted to each other. You don't know on what terms they ended. You don't know if there's residual feelings there. So overall, when you're kind of forced to view the ex or deal with the ex, it's just intimidating and it's just scary and it's just a whole lot of lot of, you know? So I get that, I understand. But if it's like pushed in your face and forced in your face, I don't, I don't necessarily like that. <laughs> I have to say that's probably not a good thing. Like I understand keeping certain mementos and keeping certain photos that maybe mean something to you or are part of your life. I mean, this person, this ex, you dated, you dated them for a reason, you were with them for X amount of months or X amount of years and that's a huge part of your life. So I understand not wanting to get rid of everything, right? Like you're going to have something from that person. But I guess it matters on how you present those mementos and those pictures and I guess it matters on where you're at with your ex. If you're still kind of dealing with your emotions and you have these pictures out and you pass by the picture and you're like, oh, you know, like that's going to make the person that you're dating currently feel like they're shit. Like that's not a good thing. So I guess my question is like how many pictures are there around and how many mementos are there? Are they in a box put away? Are they showcased by the mantle? I don't know. Is it one picture? Is it 45? <laughs> I, I just, I know how hard it could be. It's just so scary and intimidating and all those things, but I think it's important to take the whole situation and evaluate the whole situation, not parts of the situation, if that makes sense. So if on a whole this person is madly in love with you and you're madly in love with them and everything is fantastic and great and then they have one picture of an ex out that they're still friends with or whatever else, like not such a big deal. I don't think if it's wallpapered in their room, I would be a little concerned. So that's my answer. I, I guess I, it's me saying I totally get it. I totally relate. But you just kind of have to take it in the whole picture, not in the parts, <laughs> which is ironic because it's about pictures. But, you know, just take it from a, a broader sort of view. I guess. Is that really optimistic? It may be really optimistic. I don't know. I'm trying to be an optimistic person now. I'm <laughs> trying to be an optimistic person. It's probably not going to last. But A for effort. So the next question comes from a baby beef who was with someone for three years. They broke up and now it's pretty much what do I do? I had plans with this person. I love this person. What what do I do? And, you know, I have to say it's, there is no what do I do now. It's, you do, you feel, you feel lost and you feel confused and you feel like everything you planned for in the next year or the next two years or however long you planned your life together with this person 
is now gone and you have to reevaluate what that means to you and, and what that means to your life, right? So, um, I don't know, I, I think I think I went through a lot of this after my girlfriend and I broke up. I mean, we were together for seven years. That's a really, really long time. That's like marriage. And, um, you know, you're living with this person. I lived with her for four years and you see this person every single day. Every day you see this person and you know what's going on in their life. And they're, they're, you're, they're just there. They're there every day. And then, you know, when something happens and you do break up, you don't see them anymore as much or at all. And you don't talk to them again as much or at all. And this person that was with you almost every single day for X amount of months and X amount of years and the person that you knew better than they knew themselves, you really don't know much about anymore. And, um, it's hard. It's really, really hard. And I relate because I'm going through that right now, um, you know, with, with my ex. And it's, it's really difficult. It really is difficult. And, you know, this was someone that was my best friend. You know, this was above and anything else, you know, like we didn't click on a relationship sort of level. So, you know, that's why we broke up, but we click so well on a friend level, you know, like, we were best friends, but you know, when you break up, it's hard to kind of reestablish what your roles are in each other's lives. So, you know, I'm seeing someone, she's seeing someone. So what happens to the relationship that we had, you know, that kind of gets redefined and you try to find a way to redefine it. And sometimes you can, and sometimes you can't, but, um, you know, that, that takes time too. You know, that really probably takes a lot of time. Like, it's been a year since we broke up and we're still trying to figure it out. We're still trying to figure out what it is we are to each other and what it is we could be to each other if we could be anything at all. So I guess that leads into the can you be friends question is like, it's all about reestablishing that relationship and sometimes it's easier and sometimes it's harder and sometimes it's impossible. So I think that's very much done on a case by case basis. I don't think there could be a blanket statement for like, yeah, you could totally be friends with your ex or no, that's such a bad idea. I think it really depends on you and your ex. But in regards to the I'm lost feeling and I don't know what to do and I had my life planned from being there, from totally having my entire life planned to ending up not knowing what the next day was going to hold, I have to say, A, that was such a learning experience. And I'm so almost grateful that I had to go through that. I think it really reestablished what I wanted in life and what was important to me and what made me happy. I really, I don't know, I guess what I'm trying to say here is like, everyone goes through these really shitty breakups everyone goes through them and everyone feels lost and everyone feels incomplete and everyone feels just really fucking shitty, you know? Everyone feels that, but after that there's like a renewal and there's a rebirth and there's just this like amazing energy of possibility. And in this is when you find yourself and you find another relationship and maybe that'll work and maybe it won't, but like, after that, again, you just get closer to finding out who you are and what you want in a relationship and who will be that perfect person. So I guess nothing is in vain is what I'm trying to say. So even though you feel lost and even though you feel a mess, it's not in vain. It didn't happen for no reason. You're, you're on a quest to find who you are and who your perfect fit is going to be. And I think, you know, that's all anyone wants to find is themselves and their perfect fit. So I have faith. I have faith in you, baby beave, and I have faith in all the other baby beavers that go through really shitty breakups only to find a fantastic relationship that may work and may not, but then move on to the next fantastic, wonderful experience. And that's all life really is. So there you have it. There's my long-winded answer that probably could have been much shorter. So sorry for the delayed video. I thought I was gonna have my mom and it would have been so much cooler because she dated a lot of people. Now she's gonna get mad that I said that on the internet, but I don't care because she's not here. I will see you all next week. Mwah. Bye guys.